I'm doing it too right now. I'm gonna start a fight now. I'm gonna be right here. Ow, that actually. Okay, I'm ready. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to today's episode of Cooking with Chow. My name is Christina and today we're gonna to show you guys how to make one of my most favorite Vietnamese dishes of all time. It is called Ban Seo. So it's a Vietnamese savory sizzling crepe and essentially Ban Seo literally means sizzling cake. So essentially it is it, to describe the sound it makes when you're pouring the batter into your pan. So it's extremely easy to make. I can't wait to show you guys. I love this dish. So let's talk about what's in the dish. So it's basically three parts. So you have your crepe batter and then you have, so this is your crepe batter. So this is made of some coconut cream. You have some all-purpose flour, some rice flour in there. And then you have a little bit of salt, sugar, water and a little bit of turmeric for that classic yellow color. So today I am using some onions, some pork belly, and some shrimp. Oh, and bean sprouts, of course. And then there's the toppings part, which is basically your combination of your choice of lettuce, some mint leaves, a little bit of basil, and some cilantro. And then you will also put on top a Vietnamese dipping sauce or a nuk mom. And this is essentially fish sauce, sugar, um, garlic, a little bit of red's eye chili, um, lime juice and sugar. And then you just mix that up. But I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. So the crepe. So I already said what we have in here, but essentially what you do is you mix all of the ingredients together and then using a whisk just to make sure that everything is well incorporated. And then you're going to let it sit in the fridge for about three hours. The reason you wanna do this is so that the gluten can relax and so that when we're making the crepe, it doesn't tear. Once it's done, you're going to add in about probably like half a cup of some chopped up scallions and you're just going to mix that in. When I pour in the crepe batter, I like to use a handy dandy ladle. It's easy, this is what I have at home. This is what I'm using, a ladle. A ladle, ladle, okay, potato, potato. Ladle. Okay, so you're going to get your nonstick pan going. We wanna use a nonstick pan. We're going to let that heat up on a medium low, or sorry, on a medium high heat. And then you're going to take some oil, going to add in about a tablespoon of oil and just rotate the pan so that the oil evenly covers around it. I apologize for my very loud induction stove. This thing is amazing. We are just becoming new friends as of recently. So I love it. I'm gonna name it. I should name her, her, him, you know, it's 2020. Mm, I have no idea. Yeah. How about you comment below what I should name this beautiful induction stove. So it's quite hot. You can tell by the oil just easily gliding throughout the pan. Place that back on. Okay, so let's start with some pork belly. I just uh, cubed up some pork belly. I just salted it just a little bit, just to add out a little bit of flavor. And you're just going to add in as many pieces as you like. I like to add about probably like five or six pieces. Actually, you know what? We'll hit it with a little more today. Whatever you are feeling. Then you're going to take some onion and just toss some onion in. That already smells amazing. Can you guys smell that? It smells great. Yo, my circuit broke, bro. Someone, I will not say names, did not press the correct button, okay? Once again, I am here to save the day, everyone, okay? Call me a chef and an electrician and a DIY and everything, okay? Let's check on our pork belly. So I want a little bit more of a crisp on the edge. So we're going to crank that heat up a little bit just so that we have that really nice char. So we're, we're taking each bite, we can really taste every little bit of it. Now we're going to just flip over each one. That's already smelling really, really good. Okay, so we're just about done. We're probably gonna hit it with probably another 30 seconds or so. Okay, so now we're going to add in our shrimp. 
So my shrimp has been peeled and divine, divined, however you say that. Please comment below how to say that. Thank you. We are going to add in, into our pan, we're going to add in about four pieces, I wanna say. Oh, that looks beautiful already, okay. And we're going to let that cook for about 30 seconds. A few moments later. Okay, that's looking good. Okay, so now, gonna grab your, um, your crepe mixture. Okay, give it a nice little whirl using your ladle. And then take your left hand and you're going to turn the pan while you pour the crepe batter in. And then grab more for anywhere that it's not in, it's got any holes or any gaps. So we're just gonna let that sit for a little bit. The reason I also like to use coconut cream is so that it's a little bit more fatty and you can really taste the coconut notes more versus using just like a regular coconut milk. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We're gonna crank up the heat so that the bottom becomes really nice and crispy, okay? We wanna make it extra dat feet. <laughs> I'm just throwing any Vietnamese I have out there. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually 17% Vietnamese according to 23andMe. Actually, in Cantonese, it's actually called dak bi. So in Vietnamese, it's very similar to it, dak bi, right? Now that this has kind of cooked for a little bit, what we're going to do is add in some bean sprouts, okay? So you're just going to add in a handful of bean sprouts and then we're gonna put our lid on so that we can help steam the bean sprouts ever so slightly. Okay, so we're gonna cook that for maybe about like 30 seconds to a minute, I wanna say, just to have that nice little steam going on. And then we're basically done. Okay, so now that we're waiting for this to cook, let's talk about dipping sauce. So this is the dipping sauce that I made, um, Nuke Mom, at home. But let me tell you guys exactly what's inside. What I added is six. Okay, so this is very, very easy to remember, okay? All you need to know is six to two to two to two. So six tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of fish sauce, two tablespoons of lime juice, and two tablespoons of sugar. And then you add in about like probably two cloves of minced garlic and a bird's eye chili, and then you mix it together and it's good. Okay, let's check this out. Ooh, okay. So that's when you know we have a really nice bottom going on, but I still want that extra crunch. So what we're going to do is grab your handy dandy brush, grab that extra oil, and you're going to swipe the pan on the sides so that that oil just cushions right underneath the crepe and really helps to really crispen up that crepe and give it a really nice texture, okay? If there's any other Vietnamese dishes you guys think I should try or try to make or make a recipe for, please comment below. Beautiful. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, okay? So take your left hand, grab the pan, and you're going to almost tilt it so that when you flip it over, you can use gravity to help you push it and fold it over. That looks beautiful. Look at that, look at that. Okay, then you're going to grab your plate. I just have my lettuce, my mint, my basil, and my cilantro in there. Then you're going to take it off the pan and just look at that. It lands beautifully right on top like it was made for the plate. Gorgeous, you guys see that? Turn that stove off. Oh, then you're going to add in your dipping sauce just on the side and look at that gorgeous plate. Look at that. That will be $10, please. So I'm going to, actually no, I'm gonna eat it the, you know, OG authentic way. I was gonna grab a nut in the OG way. Okay, so. Oh, ooh, it's hot. Ooh. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, beautiful. Grab your lettuce. You're gonna make a little boat, like so. Boat, okay. We're going to grab your piece. Oh my God, I just took such a big piece. Literally before I came today, James was like, can you please not take such big bites on camera? James, but like who cares, okay? I'm gonna live my best life. Add your leaves, your basil leaves. Add a little bit of some mint in there as well too. Add a little bit of your cilantro. Obviously those that have the gene that think it tastes like soap, don't put it in. Okay guys, we're gonna do this. My classic ASMRs, which have not been very cute so far, but today we're gonna do better. So you're gonna do that. See that little boat, everyone? So let's talk about the flavors. So the really interesting thing about Banseo is that it's a dish that uses seafood and meat, which is typically not very common, I wanna say, for food. Like typically you will have, you know, your seafood, your meat, but you'll cook it separately. So it's very, very rare that you find a dish where everything cooks together. And so it's interesting because the seafood, so the shrimp, really, really complements that pork because the, the shrimp is very like light, it's salty, and then you have that pork that is like very fatty. And so it complements each other super, super nicely. And then you have, you know, your more neutral stuff. So like your bean sprouts, your onions, which are great and like add like nice texture and crunch to it. And then you have this beautiful, crunchy, savory layer that's got like nodes of coconut, has that really nice like fattiness in the coconut, and it's just absolutely delicious. And then you pair it with like lettuce, you know, basil, mint leaf, and cilantro, and those really also help to elevate that flavor profile even a little bit further. And then to top it off, there is this amazing Vietnamese dipping sauce that has that citrus, that spice, that sweetness to it that just literally ties everything together. It is like a happy marriage union together in your mouth, okay? All at once. It is literally amazing. So I hope you guys try this out. If you guys do, please comment below at Cooking with Chow. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys like this video. And please comment below what I should be cooking next week or what you guys would like to see. But yes, it was amazing, amazing chatting with you guys as always. And we will see you guys next week, okay? So, ciao for now.